hours. Eleven hours. Eleven hours. Oh my god! That's like already going to jail, and then oh. you have to go to jail after that. Eleven hours. You tried to break into somewhere. You got stuck. They took your pants off. You were there for eleven hours. Isn't and that then crazy? You go then? to jail. Yeah. Got the whole gang here, and we packing a lip. Got all the hoes here, and we packing a lip. If you're watching on YouTube, please be sure to subscribe to the channel and leave, leave a, a like, like and a comment and let us know where you're watching from. Give us some thoughts. Give us some opinions. Give us some suggestions. Let's uh, let's watch Unluckiest People caught on camera. Speaking of luck, I bought a scratch off today for $5 and I made $0. So Speaking of luck. I felt very unlucky. <laughs> Let's see how other people's luck helps. But then you saw me and you got to feel lucky. Then I drew golf. <laughs> you felt real lucky, boy. I to try to repeat this. Why? Well, first, it it look a little weird? And second, you can easily get stuck you know somewhere. Who felt and really then unlucky someone today? will eventually <laughs> film you. Upload. China? China. China. China's luck ran out. Shane's luck is 47 feet under the water. Thank y'all for the pain. In the Atlantic Take Ocean. To YouTube and you will end up <laughs> featured in this video. So today, we look at the weirdest places people have got stuck in. Let's get it mm. on. Got people stuck. have gotten stuck. Weirdest wow. a trash bin. Who can you find in the trash bin? A raccoon, a possum, a rat, or maybe the guy who was playing golf for 24 hours straight. In any case, that's what the video description says. Frankly, we don't quite What? I mean, what a way, what a way, <laughs> look at that. Golf for 24 hours straight? Understand what the trash bin has to do with golf, but the fact remains, the person decided to stick his head Oh my god. Yep. You saw it right. You heard it right. Look at those pants. I'd be feeling real lucky if I had them pants on. I mean look at the ball. Yeah, speak of a golf. <laughs> he was trying to just, Hey, he was trying to grab his seven iron and hit the ball. I love how he's holding the club right there. <laughs> golf for twenty four hours straight and he got stuck in a trash can. Oh my god, dude. I mean, honestly, he probably had more fun in this moment than he ever did playing golf, so. Ain't nothing. Somewhere that he wasn't supposed to, and he got stuck. Well, what did he expect? Maybe he wanted to get the ball? You can even see it in the video, but the idea was pretty bad anyway. We can't imagine how a person stuck in the trash bin feels, but the people around him had great fun. <laughs> Just give him some WD-40 around the ear holes. Put some grass-fed butter on there. <laughs> It took some several people butter. and lubricants <laughs> Give him some the poor man. butter. However, he doesn't look too upset. <laughs> Toddler what the hell? I would feel like a dumbass. Toddlers. I mean, you would? Swings are supposed to be used by, well, toddlers, and there is a reason for that. No one's trying to rob the adults from having fun, but these swings are intended for a certain weight and size of some parts of the body. So if you try to use something designed for kids, you may end up getting stuck. Just like this guy, who decided to try his luck right during the wedding. He was actually chosen to serve as the best man. Looks like he just wanted to do it for the thrills. How else could you explain the fact that he decided to use this particular swing? Although there there were other swings nearby intended for older kids. Thankfully, with the help of the other guests, the best man was set free. Nobody was hurt, just his pride. But this wedding will definitely be remembered for a long time. All right, hold on! <laughs> hold on, hold on! <laughs> ah, yo, my thighs! Ow, no, no, no! <laughs> there you go. There we go. Woohoo! Oh, How did your feet fit? <laughs> oh, yeah. A washing machine. Who would want to put their heads into the washing machine? To one with a vertical loading of all things. Well, in 2016, a guy from China <laughs> tried to repair it. <laughs> what a cut. <laughs> what a cut. Holy shit. Wow. Goes from that fucking got real. <laughs> Wayne's World to like an ISIS fucking video real quick. Holy shit. Wow. Out of nowhere from the top rope. 
like a torture video. <laughs> yeah, for real. <laughs> the functioning drum. And apparently, Tell us where the bombs to are. a closer look at the faulty parts. A very Damn. poor decision indeed. Firefighters oh came to God. the end of the unfortunate repairman. First, they detached the drum from the machine so that the guy wouldn't suffocate, and then they carefully broke it. All this time, the man's head was stuck, but the story ended well. According to the official fire safety records of Fuzhou City, the rest Oh my fucking god! <laughs> That's actually insane. Imagine. I love that there's like a fucking oh. dog bowl in there. It was less than an hour. Perhaps this was not their first case of dealing with washing machines. In any case, don't try to fix your appliances this way, please. Or hot hey, air balloons. Usually, playgrounds are intended for kids. Various equipment is designed with kids' sizes in mind. That is, it's definitely not supposed to be used by adults. But what can you do if you want to feel like a child again? The answer is, don't be like this guy named Martez, who apparently had the wrong idea about his own size. After all, he is a strong young man. So how did he fit into this yellow thing? Come on, Martez. Kids. I should have gone down on my knees as a problem. Well, we'll never know the answer to this question. However, unlike the previous heroes of the video, Martez was able to get out on his own, even before oh his God. friends called the rescuers. The video doesn't show how he did it, but Harry Houdini would surely envy his flexibility. Imagine a getting into chair. that position. We don't know why people are so attracted to things designed for kids. Well, if not for their funny attempts to use things not intended for adults, we wouldn't have so many funny videos for you today. A 15-year-old Addison Trent and her friends decided that it would be a lot of fun if the girls sat in the high chair in the fast food joint. And they indeed did have a lot of fun. Not Addison herself, though, but those around her. The girl got stuck. Restaurant staff and friends spent 45 minutes trying to rescue Addison. They pulled her by the arms and legs, gave all sorts of valuable advice, but it was all useless. In the end, they had to call the firefighters. They were going to use a chainsaw, but first decided to try to disassemble the chair, and they did a pretty good job. Oh my god. Oh my Come on, Addie. god. Yeah, Addie. <laughs> Addison was set free and said that she'd never sit in high chairs again in her life. <laughs> a tree. I'll never put my ass inside of a high chair. That's fucking... I learned me lesson today. I love that she got a full-ass, like, professional interview after <laughs> yeah, that. Yeah, for real. God damn. I'll never stick me arse inside it, of an high chair. It went to fucking restaurant <laughs> said in one and then it said Oi, I wouldn't do that if again. If I see you, Wendy's... I after, ain't putting me ass in a fucking high chair. Fucking three thousand dollars of taxpayer money <laughs> got me out of a high chair. I don't care how much Vaseline you got in your car. I won't be putting me ass inside of a high chair. Cats that climb too high and are afraid to go back often have to be rescued by firefighters. I've always wondered this for real. Yo, what's up? If what have cat, you wondered? If a cat does get up there for real, and you I'm just, gonna fuck out of it. <laughs> if you leave it up there. Is it going to die and rot up there? Or is it just going to eventually be like, you know what? I'm fucking hungry. I'm coming down. Mm -mm. You don't think so? Mm -mm. It'll stay up there and die? Yeah, because cats, I don't know if you know this or not, but cats are fucking, uh, they're really stupid. I did know that. They're really fucking stupid. I have a buddy and who taught me that. They're really easy to hunt. I Just shoot at it. Oh. Cut the tree down, and then as the tree's falling down, or you could light the tree on fire from the bottom. Well, maybe they just don't want to climb down. Depends on the cat, really. I don't but get it. When 911 receives a call saying that a six year old boy got stuck in a tree, this is something unusual. A boy named Major Ashmore simply loves climbing wherever Excuse he can, me? like most of his peers. See a colonel in the army? A boy named what? <laughs> Ash? Ash catch a six-year-old boy Ishmael. got stuck in a tree. This is something unusual. A boy named Major Ashmore simply Major Ashmore. Colonel S'mores. <laughs> Colonel Sanders <Boy>. in a tree. <laughs> <laughs> he was looking for them eleven herbs and spices. A boy named Dr. Bojangles was stuck on a tree limb. <laughs> <laughs> he loves climbing wherever he can, like most of his peers. But his mother didn't expect the boy to climb a tree, a 15-meter tree growing in the backyard. Of course, the kid was scared and couldn't oh come my down. God. And then the firefighters came to the rescue. According to one of them, for 23 years of service, it was the first time that had to take a person, not a cat, from a tree. I believe that. However, the rescue... 
This child was the dumbest. Did, the did stupidest they have... child I ever met in my life. I want to know what that <laughs> audio clip was. Did they had the fucking Shire Orchestra come out and like they just play a Somebody... dirge. They just come out and play a dirge as a Somebody fucking... had a didgeridoo in the bagpipe. <laughs> he said, perfect time to come out and play a little ditty. <laughs> <laughs> Why major <Poor> fucking <laughs> Dr. Bojangles is stuck in the tree. We'll come out and play a little fucking ditty with the orchestra. Was- <laughs> it's like the most interesting thing to happen in the Shire while they got two fucking propane tanks just waiting. In 23 years of my life, I never rescued a kid out of a tree. I believe you. I do. Person, not a cat. Listen to the audio. The However, the rest... <laughs> I love that that's just there mm. randomly. Like, a toilet. Fuck. If you think you got a bad day, just look at what happened to Gracie Henderson. In 2017, she moved into a new house, but she had to fix broken. She put her camera in the toilet. Dude, I I don't know. I just want to make sure that did happen. In 2017, she moved into a new house, but she had to fix broken stuff all the time. A water pipe, a lawnmower. So when the toilet clogged, Gracie decided to fix that. I bought many water pipes in my time. She forgot to take her watch off, and as a result, her hand got stuck in the toilet. One can hardly imagine a more awkward situation. Was that a recreation? Guys like you don't die on toilets. Gracie tried to free herself, but eventually she had to call the rescuers. They carefully detached the toilet from the sewer pipes and carried it out onto the lawn, where, with the help of a sledgehammer, it was very, very carefully broken. That's how the rescuers managed to free Gracie's hand. Oh my god. In the aftermath of the rescue operation, the toilet was broke. I love paying taxes. I love paying taxes. For the woman, she suffered only a slight shock and severe embarrassment. Still got the Yeti in, in her hand. <laughs> She's still walking out with the fucking Yeti in her hand. She's hammered. <laughs> well, I got stuck here for a couple of hours, so I figured I'd just get drunk as hell. My buddy made me a vodka <laughs> Sprite. Put in my vodka cup. What could be worse Yeti than getting cup. stuck somewhere? Only getting stuck at the crime scene. <laughs> A 22-year-old guy tried to get into one of Portugal's supermarkets through a tiny window, but ended up trapped. The unsuccessful robber was able to get into the room waist deep when he realized that he no longer had a foothold and began to crawl inside like... I'm going to act up. <laughs> Some places you got to pay for this. <laughs> Now, what part of Portugal is this? I think I've seen a video or two about this one. Hey, put ads on this part of the <laughs> yeah, video. Yeah, step, step bro. <laughs> I was trying to break into the supermarket in Portugal. Step bro tried to grab a banana. Embarrassing position, right at the crime scene. Completely helpless and in his underpants. The guy spent about 11 hours in the window. Oh the my, hours 11 hours? 11 hours? Oh my god. That's like already going to jail, and then oh. you have to go to jail after that. 11 hours. You tried to break into somewhere. You got stuck. They took your pants off. You were there for 11 hours. Isn't and that then crazy? You go then? to jail. Yeah. It's like you already went to jail, and now you have to go to jail. Oh my god. God. A lot of stuff has been lost in storm grates, from coins and keys to phones and even shoes, not to mention the little boys in the yellow raincoats. But the story that happened to his 16-year-old Chinese girl is incredible. The poor teenager got trapped by the bars. The girl's leg simply slipped between them and got stuck. She couldn't set herself free, so she had to call the firefighters for help. That's why I don't walk over any shit like that. Me never. Either. Dude, if there's a storm drain... Step right over it. Ah, oh, any yep. any hole in the earth, I'm, I'm stepping over or I'm walking around. Fuck that shit. Ah! Oh! Yeah. I agree. Nightmare, nightmare, and nightmare. Then that, and then that snake from Florida that we watch grabs you. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Just sends you Sucking and your, on your soul leg. straight to hell. <laughs> PS4 and more. Thank you for the cheer Shitting one. up your leg. Help. They cut the iron bars and freed the girl. The entire nightmare. rescue operation took them only 10 minutes. <laughs> The girl got off with just a couple of scratches. Power lines. 
Paragliding is a rather dangerous hobby. It can even cost you your life Bruh. if you accidentally land in the wrong place or get caught in the power lines. This Fuck is exactly this. what happened to this man in February 2020 in California. During a paraglider flight, he crashed into some power lines and got entangled in them. Like a butterfly in a spider's web, the Pacific Gas and Electric Company quickly turned off all the electricity in the area to prevent a disaster. Bro, fuck that. I'm I'm if if I'm in control of the electric company, I'm putting it up to max voltage and say, "Listen, buddy, you got yourself into this. We're going to make you get out in veteran mode." I, <laughs> I don't get how he was like able to call and say, "Hey, buddy, I'm up here on the pole. Can you turn off the power?" It's like, for me? They're like a spider. They felt the saying. disturbance in the web and they were like, "Oh shit, someone how was fucking know? paragliding like a a, a nah. dumbass. That's what I mean. He had the time to whip his phone out and be like, can you turn the power off? No, nah, they felt it, dude. It was nah. like the vibration. You know how a spider, they feel the vibration in their web and they know something's caught? That's Still, what happened with the power company. There's no way, though. They're like, oh, fucking stupid ass paraglider again. But see, if it was me, I turned it up to max voltage. They're how much time. do you like paragliding? You like it that? You like it this much? You're going to well, do it again after uh, this? I don't think he's very much of a pro. Max but how, voltage. I thought there was power And going, I'm shooting at you. Is there not power going through the line all I don't the know. time? I'm setting that pole on fire. Think about that. I'm shooting at you and max voltage. Tell me how much you like paragliding. Power has to be going through there at all times, though, right? Or no? I don't know, dude. I like what? I got hemorrhoids, dude. I get and, what you're saying, but I, I feel like... He probably hit something, and it was like something happened, and they, they realized, like, ah, oh, there's something wrong with the pole. Someone went out there, and they were like, oh, shit, there's a human up here. Yeah, and all that time, no voltage came through that power line? I don't know, dude. Maybe he got really lucky. I wish he would have died. I would have to say so. I mean, I, personally speaking, I mean, I wish he would have <laughs> No, like, we'll of, turn it off. My only word of advice is that if you, if you go paragliding... 20,000 people won't be able to microwave their chicken. We'll get you out of there. It'd be it, a tricycle. Yeah, I love the hydropole, but if you go paragliding, do it, <laughs> over, do it over Area 51. The outcome, and the man was soon saved. He spent more than three hours in the trap, but remained conscious. The extreme sports enthusiast was sent to the hospital for a checkup. Yeah, Dude. I love that. Yeah, let's I cheer. Let's cheer on the guy that went fucking paragliding in the middle of the night. Hey, you made it to the end of the video. Thank you so much. Just wanted to quickly let y'all know that my band Slackjaw is going on a tour. We're gonna be in Birmingham, Alabama, March 16th; Jonesboro, Georgia, March 18th; Johnson City, Tennessee, March 23rd; Charlotte, North Carolina, March 24th. Roanoke, Virginia, March 25th, and Greenville, South Carolina, March 26th. If you live in or around these cities and want to come hang out with me and my band, tickets are available now. Link down below in the description. Me and my band are going to be hanging out, playing some kick-ass music, and chatting it up with you guys and having a good old time. So please come out, support some music. It'd be great to see y'all there. Thanks for watching. Peace. Man, what the fuck? That's just sad.